Hello guys, this is Sean Lego with a small little video of the reviews of the um, Lego Ninjago. I don't actually have the set, but it's based off the prices. I'm not going to show off the whole entire set since, well, a lot of, it, like, it's been a couple months since the leak spit out. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it if they like Legos. And I'm just going to go over what I think is the best to get, especially, like, if you're going to get the first deck in the wave. Or there's still some new people getting Lego Ninjago sets. And they might want to start off with the newest thing and this goes so help them. So starting off, we have the Source Dragon of Motion. And y'all might be thinking about the Buddy. Actually, it's only me and Buddy thinking about the Buddy Motion. Anyways, it's nice. It's the price is pretty good, even though people might think it's a little outrageous. I would say it has nice detail, really good. Cause with little dragons, which is actually pretty cool, and yeah, it's just pretty nice. And if if I was you, I would definitely not get this for my first, not even for my first big set or major set. I would get in this wave. So, yeah, now on to the next one. Now we're on the tournament battle arena. So, the first thing I'm going to say is the price is a little bit too much. Like, if I can remember correctly, the Tournament of Le Elements Legacy was 25 bucks, And it looked kind of better than this, to be honest. This is 50 bucks. And I'm pretty sure they spent most of the pieces trying to make that little statue that looks like a uh, sensei or woo. Which they shouldn't have. They should have just m put more pieces to like make it look at least a little bit more bigger and a bigger battleground for it. But I think a set later on helps that problem. Which is the only poly black that is has. So let's go on to the next one. Alright, so now we have Cole's Titan Dragon back, which looks extremely good. I have to show multiple pictures because how good it looks. Now, I could easily say this is the best set out of the whole tirade wave, especially for pricing, because some of the other stuff makes no sense. Like, it's the best. If you're going to go for a major set, it would definitely be this one. Especially because it's pretty good. But yeah. Now on to the thing. That I don't. Is this overpriced. Like yeah. So now we have the ninja team combo vehicle. At first glance. Before I knew the price. I actually was thinking about getting this. It looked really good. Really nice. And having a combo vehicle would be a good thing since the ultrasonic raider. But as soon as I saw the price, yeah, no. Reason why? Because it's literally near the Cole's Dragon mech. And, like, if I had the chance, I would just get the mech easily. Like, I would just pick it easily. It's literally only $10 less. If you're already going to pay that much, you might as well get the better thing. And also... The price is outrageous. Max, I say this should have been the 50 of the wave, the $50 of the wave, or at least the $60. In the tournament battleground, should have easily been 25 or 30 easily. All right, on to our last couple of stuff to do next. Let's go to the only thing that's affordable and that has at least something to give us something like really something but all right so this bike looks pretty good it's pretty nice one thing that i gotta say is they they could have slapped i don't know 12 13 15 dollars on that just for at least one minifigure or at least two because it gave us jay's mech I know y'all know what it is. I think it was either 15 or 10. No, it was 10. And it gave us three minifigures and a tiny mech. And one of the minifigures was exclusive. I think it came in a later set down the line. 
but yeah it could have did better it's pretty good it's pretty nice it looks nice uh it would definitely be fun if you guys do stop motion that would be a good thing to have in your stop motions uh otherwise than that it will be a good display piece for your desk or something pretty solid good prices could at least gave us like i don't know one villain or something but the next thing will make up for it if you get both so yeah so now we have the poly bag don't worry i know it's not showing the price but it's actually 4.99 so five bucks but one thing i gotta say all right first we're gonna start off with the obvious it comes with two mini figures cole and one wolf this will be the easiest to army build out of everything which is really good but as i said they couldn't easily put that five they couldn't easily like kept on going with the little battle packs for ninjago because actually was good ten dollars you get one villain wait yeah you do. wait no that was four figures that's four mini figures if i'm right yeah and it was only ten dollars yeah they could have definitely had more in zane's bike anyways past that they could have literally just put this idea into the thing and it would have been solid it would have easily been solid. I'll even pay for it for 15 bucks. It's pretty solid. One thing I noticed is that it has a little stadium where it looks like it connect. So, what I'm thinking here is that it could connect with the tournament's battle area. Hopefully, it can because I at least want something to go upon it. If not, if it connects with itself, then... uh. I think you, you're you able to make a little stadium, probably, or a little battle arena, like a second battle arena to attach to the other. I gotta say, pretty good, pretty affordable. Um, I would definitely get this easily for one of the easiest figures and definitely the most easiest to army build. I'll probably like, I'm pretty sure if you buy a good 20 bucks, you would literally, if you use like 20 bucks, you probably have like uh, five of the figure. Wait, no. Yeah. Wait, no, you have four. But yeah, 25, you will have five of the figure, which would be pretty nice. It's a pretty good set. Alright, let's move on to our last one, I think. So, yeah. So now we have the tournament temple city when i saw this i knew i wanted it it looks good the detail is on point side builds good i actually like the way that they're building the dragons it's been a while since we have a waver dragon and what that means is just a dragon that's on its two hind that's on its hind legs and it uses arms I love the top. I love the way that they builded it, and all of a sudden they just stopped and just started doing the typical four-legged dragon. But yeah, it was always my favorite design, and hopefully they add more dragons, at least similar with this design with the dragon. If y'all can see it, cause it's really, really nice. And overall. I'm gonna have a t I'm gonna have a list. What would be the best to get and what would be the well actually I'm just gonna say it one by one. Alright. So we're gonna do the first thing which I'm gonna be going up to the best. So starting off with the worst. This was really hard, but I'm easily gonna have to go with the team combo vehicle. It was nice. A little overpriced and the main thing that made it fall off was being way too close to the price of the Coles mech like due to that it just kind of just made it feel like if you're in the store and you see a, 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 a vehicle versus you see a giant cool robot mech with swords I'm pretty sure you're gonna pick the mech and it, just pick some random vehicle and call it the vehicle combo mech because i did that as a kid if i see a cool dragon and a vehicle i wanted i'll just get that and just buy a small little car or something and call it that 
So sorry, Team Combo um, vehicle, but you're at the lowest. Now on to the next one. I'm gonna give you guys a little pause. All right, how you how you guys day? Oh, good, 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 bad. Sorry to hear that, my boy. All right, on to the next one. So for sixth place, this was kind of hard to do. But I'm going to have to go with the Switch Dragon Motion. It's nice. It's detailed. Um, It's pretty good. The price is alright. It could have just been 120 or 130-ish. Uh, yeah. I don't really have nothing to say about it. Other than, it, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Is this the price? And especially this video is for if you're starting a collection. So, yeah. So, we have the, at the lowest. So, seventh, we have the vehicle. Um, six. I think we have, yep, the dragon of motion. And now for the fifth. Oh my god, I need to go look back at the pictures. Sorry, I cannot see the pictures right now. I am back after looking at this. After looking at them. And I'm comfortably going to have to say the tournaments. Like I said, um, if the if they re resend the Legacy Wave. Which, they do a lot of times in my stores. Like when I walk in a certain month or day, Legacy will be right back up. <clears throat> But, is this the price? It's overpriced. Like, yeah. It's pretty nice. It looks nice. And yeah, it's a good display piece. Or if you do stop motion, it would be a good place to have in the background. But like, it's like a battleground. And there's nothing really battleground use except it has a statue. Like, a couple spots for the minifigures to jump on. So, yeah. Now, coming in right after it, I'm going to have to go with the Zane bike. Now, it is nice. It's good. The one thing that made it fell, the price is good. But the one thing that made it fell, good, fell off is because they have no minifigures. Only Zane. Which kind of sucks because you could compare it to the Jay's mech, which should still be in shelves. Because stuff don't leave until, like... After the next wave. So, yeah. Like, after, after. So, yeah. It just, like... Like, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's just the... the uh, it never not have no bad guy. Just made it fell off. It's really good, though. Now, for second place... Da-da-da-da! We got... Cole's poly bag. Now this might seem surprising because it's nothing basically. But if it does what I think it is, then it could comfortably stay at number two. If not, it could be at number three and we can swap it with Zane's easily. Wait, I forgot to do Cole's. I didn't do Cole's rec. Alright, so actually, yeah, he's on third place. So da 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 he's on third place. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um so like I said, yeah. And it says, if it does what I think it does, it could be, it could be stay there, it could stay there. Because if you can stack them together to make a battery or, or put it in there, then yeah. If not, then it could comfortably be at fourth. Second place is easily Cole's neck. Detail with nice pricing, pretty good. I'm not too, I'm a little bummed out it didn't come with no real minifigure. But with the team combo mark, I mean, it only came like with two. And you get like the whole team of ninjas. And like a giant vehicle, so it coming with one with a one guy with a giant mech is better than coming with none. Like, cause like, what are you gonna do? You just gonna make the guys fight? So, yeah. Now for number one, we have the uh, I can't even see it right now, but boom, it's on screen. That right there, cause that is really good. I'm just gonna call it the the tournament village. Anyways, yeah, 
that is really good. It looks nice. Good detail. Good side builds. Good characters. And I do not want to over storage my phone. So, yep. So, seventh, we have the vehicle. Sixth, we have the search of your motion. Um, fifth, fifth, we have the tournament. Fourth, we have the veins. Yeah, the veins bike. Third, we have the poly bag. And second, we have Cosmic. And first, we have the little tournament village. Peace out. See you guys in the next video.